Well, welcome to you on the number four. We've arrived at number four here at Eagle Ridge. It's a, it's quite a long par four. It's uphill with the drive. It's 420 yards. Uh, it says 382 metres. That's what it means. 420 yards. It's a dog leg around to the left. Uh, the course superintendent uh, here, he's made it a little more difficult for us. He's placed the T uh, markers over on the right hand side. So uh, with the trees on the right, uh, I want to be as far over here as I can so I get a shot up the middle of the fairway. So uh, I, I'm definitely not going to tee up on that, the farther side of the markers. This will give me the best opportunity. The other thing um, we've noticed today is that there's quite a bit of swirling wind around. And uh, if we hadn't played the holes before, we could get confused here. But we do know that the wind, when it gets out there, will move the ball a little bit right to left. Down here, it looks like it could go left to right. But we definitely know it's a slight right to left wind. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to hit it just on the right hand side of the fairway here. And I'll just be trying to hit a straight shot. I'm not going to try anything smart here. Just a nice, easy down the middle solid hit. And uh, just enjoy it. That's a good way to start, straight up the middle. Yeah, there it goes. It, it, the wind felt like it was coming from yeah. left to right, but when it got out there, it held it from yeah. right to left. So I'm very happy with that shot, yeah. uh, Jake. Let's see if you can follow that one, Master. Well, a little bit of cut across that one, but the wind saved it. It's up there on the right-hand side of the fairway. You, you're definitely going to find it. Shot. You, you definitely got a shot, Master. <laughs> you know, it's pretty intimidating sort of a hole, this with the trees crouching and encroaching here, isn't it? Yeah, you haven't got, yeah, you've got a really small gap that you're looking at, and because it's obviously, you've got that rise, you can't see the, uh, the fairway open up behind it. So uh, without playing, off, I've, not, I've not played this hole before, so it is a, Looks yeah. like it's very tight and you're squeezed in there. Yeah, there's a little more room. Having local knowledge, I know yes. once you get over the hill, there's a little more room than you think. Yep. But again, a very good hole. It's a great driving hole. And, uh, you know, for, for a guy that's only been playing four months, uh, you're up and running. Yes. Let's go play these let's, shots. Let's get to the next shot. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I've got my ball here. I'm uh, 180. We've got the wind directly behind us, 180 yards to the, to the flag. Wind's coming directly behind us. We've got a slow, a like, slight downhill. Pete, I picked out a, um, a six iron. Do you have anything to add? <laughs> Look, mate, mostly, uh, you know, I think you, you were a gorilla, but the one thing we have got down is it's downhill. Yeah. That's worth at least 10 yards, maybe right. 15, yep. because it is quite a bit downhill. And, and they've also the ball will run on from the yep. front. The second thing is it's downwind. Sure. So it's playing the equivalent of around about 155, yeah. 160 yards. Yeah. So I think a six iron is the right club, especially yep. with your ability. Yeah. Okay? Nice stuff. Just a nice, easy six yeah. iron, and let 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 the wind and the and the and the downhill help you. What a good shot. Mate, for the limited time you've been playing golf, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed. Yeah, now, probably off the back, 
I think it's dropped off the back of the... It did, it went... Yeah. I didn't... I know you're powerful and, uh, you know, the way you've been playing so far, fantastic. Well, the problem the problem I have at the moment is that um, we are still obviously trying to build our, or build my swing and it is, it's constantly changing. So in the last couple of days we've been working on the waggle um, and I think, I don't know what my distances are, so I haven't really you've added, a lot of... You've definitely added yeah. another probably five yards to your yeah. normal shot, but the other thing is, you know, coming out in the golf course yeah. uh, makes a big difference to you. Yeah. If you, on the practice fairway or, uh, you know, in, a, in inside when you're building, you're not going to really know how it applies out here. Yeah. So, so you've done a great job in transferring from the uh, the practice fairway uh, to the golf course. You, yeah. You look like you're uh, you're playing the shots uh, with a routine. Yep, definitely. Uh, and just tell us, I, I mean, are you having to think much about your swing at the moment, or uh, you just, what's, your, what's your key thought? It's not the swing. I tell you what, it's the anxiousness of being on camera. That's that's probably the big thing here, um, and it probably also being around you, <laughs> so as my as my coach. Like, so you I'm know, not really thinking a great deal about swinging, except I've just got those thoughts of making sure I don't, you know, hit a really up. bad one. So, so, so a little, there's a little bit of what you don't want going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. So I think give it. Give it a few more shots in this round, and that'll clear. I'll get more relaxed and be comfortable. Yeah, yeah. and um, and that's yeah. that's part of the mind training. We we're going to be doing more of that with you. Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. and part of it. Uh, you, you can't do it all uh, in a, in an armchair. No. Okay, no. it's 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 actually have to be out in the real world. Yes. And there's nothing more real than the golf course. Well, nothing better than the golf course either. <laughs> well, isn't this a fantastic golf yeah. course? Yeah. I mean, the the it's character beautiful. of these holes. Yeah. Every one of them has a, has a special, unique uh, character. Yep. And this is this 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 is a, a, definitely a special hole. Yep. So, the other thing I do notice is my ball's about uh, about 35, uh, 40 yards ahead of yours. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, for uh, and I'm a bit older than you, so yeah. I'll tell I'll tell you, what, you've laid out <laughs> the challenge there. <laughs> I know, I, I know what's going to happen. You're going to hit, start hitting it past me. Very I'll tell you soon. what, it's um, I'm a natural, just being naturally it's sliced. It's not even a fade. But, that's, um, that's you're losing a bit of distance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're, we're going to fix that. Hit it straight. We'll fix that. Yeah, no. And um, we'll, we'll continue this conversation then. Well, here I am. I'm playing my second shot uh, on the fourth hole here at Eagle Ridge, and uh, I've got about 155 yards to the pin. It's downhill, downwind. Same uh, direction as what Jake's was. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing uh, to the front of the green. Yeah. I can let it run on. Now I don't hit my eyes as strong as you do, even though you, I hit my driver a little further. Okay. <laughs> at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to play the eight iron. So I'm going to go through my address routine. Okay. And this is where I, where I, I zero out from getting nervous. Once I get into my routine, that kind of insulates me. I get into a cocoon yeah. where I just can play golf, and uh, that's what we're going to do right now. Gone a little bit left. Looks yeah. like uh, the slope got me actually. You know, the wind's coming a little right to left, but what happened to me there was and not just the wind, it was more the slope. The ball was above my head. Yeah. So, the one thing I need to do is uh, I need to get more practice on when the ball's above my feet, aiming a little more to the right. When you say how much is a little more, like I, that's one thing I haven't really coached with you for my own game is playing on a slope like this. So, you've this is probably five centimetres or an inch or two above your feet. How right. much slope would you be factoring there's in, quite a, think? There's quite a bit of a slope here. Yeah. And I'd say it's probably a 20, uh, 20, 20 degree slope. Yeah. Uh, now, what I should have been doing is I should have been aiming at the right hand side of the green. Yeah, okay. And my problem was I looked at the flag. Yeah. Instead of looking at my, my aiming point. So if I was going to do that and have another shot, so I think I will, if I can play another ball there, yeah. I'll just demonstrate what I should have done, okay? Cause Beautiful. When you're out in a course like this with a playing lesson, yep. uh, you know, not that you're going to hit 100 balls, ah. but to put down a second ball and, 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 and walk walk off with a, a positive. Okay, well, 
basically I know the mistake I made the last time was I, I didn't make my target about 25 or 30 feet to the right of the pin. I looked at the flag. So now instead of looking at the flag, I'm going to aim. My target's going to be a spot about 25 feet right of the flag. And I'm going to try to hit it there. And I'm going to allow the slope and the wind to bring it back to the pin. Yeah. That's there tracking, that's tracking the flag. Now, how'd that finish, uh, Jake? How I close? Think it, I think it's just on the fringe. Oh, no, it's just on, yeah, just on the fringe. I'd sit there, hit the green, you're probably uh, pretty much right at the flag, maybe 15 yards, 15 feet, so I should say, sorry. 15 feet, 15 yeah, feet. That's, that's better. I know. <laughs> uh, definitely, I'm, the pin's on the front of the green, so I'm, I'm yeah. very happy. But there, there's something, I learned something there. Yeah. So when you come out in the golf course, in a, in a situation like this, you can always learn a lot. Yeah. And uh, you've got to take into account the slope, not just the wind. Yeah. Uh, and besides being above my feet, it was the ball, it's a downhill shot. So normally 155 yards, I'd be playing a 7 iron. Yeah. Uh, I hit, a, hit an 8 iron that time. Well, here I am. I'm, I got, I'm standing a little bit above the ball, but I'm fortunate enough, I'm the ball sitting in the flat part of the bunker. So I visualize the shot I want to play. Just relax, get my feet solely in the sand. Just a little bit too heavy. Uh, well, a bit more work to be done. Pretty good result though. Yeah, it's out of the bunker. It is. Part one. Jake, your ball is on the green, just yes. off, just on the back edge here. Of course, you've got a pretty long putt. Yeah. Probably it's a, what we'd say probably about a, a 70 foot, a 65, 70 foot. Yeah. Looking at it, it's probably just a, like a slight sort of right to left. And you're just off the edge, so you get you don't need to have anyone hold the pin. If you were on the green there, you'd need someone to be holding the pin because if pin. you hit the pin, uh, you'd be Penalty. penalized. Yeah. Yep. So you're just oh, off yes. the edge. By a foot. Okay. Good solid contact. I tell you what, excellent putt. Not bad. That's um. It's uh, it's not quite a not, gimme, not, but not a gimme. No gimmies. <laughs> no gimmies. Um, and we don't play gimmies. Two and a half feet. Two and, two and a half, half foot. Let's see you half. finish it out, eh? While you're hot. Very good putt. Nice par. A very good par. Yes. Good way to start. So uh, you got me working here. I got <laughs> my putt. Take... You'll take the camera in a yeah. second. There you go. Yep. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what I'm made of. Beautiful. Camera's still rolling. Of making a par. It certainly is. And what's very interesting here is 
just a, in, in the process. If you, you, you're just going through the process, and uh, it, it, with time, if you practice, things like that can happen.